And again, um, long-term treatment with the estrogen was associated with a reduction in the risk of colon cancer, fatal colon cancer, cancer that kills you. So again, I can't uh, emphasize this more because uh, timing is everything in menopause. So early treatment, really important. So estrogen has 400 jobs in the body. So I always ask women, what of these 400 jobs is no longer important as you get older? So it affects your brain, it's going to affect your quality of sleep, it affects your mood, it affects uh, neurotransmitters. <laughs> So really, uh, it has quite a few effects um, on your hair, your skin, your metabolism. Uh, estrogen deficiency often causes changes in your ability to think clearly. So your ability to recall a word or your ability to do calculations or even your ability to cope. So, women will present with a feeling of overwhelm. Uh, there are some uh, tip-offs for women who may be more prone to emotional problems during menopause. So women who have um, more emotional problems uh, before their periods or after they get birth are those women that we want to be careful of as they enter into menopause because they may present with more depressive symptoms. Estrogen um, helps you sleep well. So if you're not sleeping for night after night after night, uh, it's definitely going to affect your mood. And we know estrogen protects your heart, and through a number of mechanisms, it has a great effect on cholesterol, and, and just a number of the factors that we look at, uh, that you can look at through the lab. Estrogen actually has a very positive effect on all of these. But why bioidentical hormones? What does that mean? We want to give you back the same hormone that you used to make. The reason is that the hormones are metabolized differently and they react differently if they're synthetic versus exactly the same chemical composition of what you used to make when you were young. The other benefit is that we can customize a prescription for you. So uh, it's not one size fits everybody. Uh, 
呃，还有一个区别就是，它不是一种荷尔蒙，所有人都可以用。So there are、um, a three kinds of estrogen. E1 is estrone. It's the it's the estrogen of menopause. You make it in your fat. It doesn't do anything good. I don't give it back. 嗯、um, ，现在我们说的是呃，荷尔蒙中的雌性荷尔蒙中的第一种，它是您在呃更年期的时候自己身体会产生的。这种它不算是一种对身体有帮助的荷尔蒙。E2 estradiol is the main estrogen that you make when you're young.、Uh, we always give that back. So it has 400 jobs. 呃、uh, ，E 呃、uh, ，第二种荷尔蒙就是 E 二，这种荷尔蒙是我们年轻的时候身体会产生的。然后也是我们刚刚提到的，它对它在我们身体里有超过四百多种功能。E3 estriol is the safest of all the estrogens. It's weak, but it's、uh, got some very wonderful benefits, and、um, we try to give that one back because it has a lot of good effects without added risk. 嗯，第三种荷尔蒙也就是 E3， 它虽然嗯、呃、就是。呃，它也是我们年轻的时候身体产生的。它的效果虽然不是很强烈，但是它是一个很安全的荷尔蒙。所以，呃，有的时候我们也需要接受这种荷尔蒙。啊、uh, ，there have been a number of studies done on estriol and breast cancer protection, and、uh, estriol seems to really reduce the risk of breast cancer. 有一些研究，他们在呃研究雌性荷尔蒙和乳腺癌。之间的呃风险的关系，研究证明，呃雌性荷尔蒙会降低您得乳腺癌的风险。嗯 ，in one particular study, um, when they compared estriol with synthetic hormone estrogen, um, it the synthetic estrogen actually、uh, doubled the risk of breast cancer. 啊，另外一个研究就是，我就像我刚刚提到的天然荷尔蒙和。嗯，化学合成荷尔蒙的对比，化学合成的荷尔蒙，它对，它会，它比天然荷尔蒙会增加，呃，得乳腺癌的几率。Estriol,、uh, when you when you use hormones,、uh, when you use estrogen and you still have uterus, you have to use them both because you can build up the lining of the uterus. So.、Um, But estriol doesn't seem to have that effect. So you could use estriol all by itself without concern of causing、uh, overstimulation of the lining of the uterus.、Um, so estriol doesn't cause overgrowth of the lining of the uterus, whereas estrogen, est estradiol all by itself, can do that. E2 estradiol will stimulate the lining of the uterus, but estriol E3 will not. Ah, 然后呃，我们刚刚提到的呃，雌性激素，第二种雌性激素，它会把它会让我们子宫里的，也子宫内的呃内膜加厚，而第三种荷尔蒙就不会有这样的功能。So early in hormone treatment, you would always have to balance estrogen with progesterone, because if you just took estrogen, it would increase your risk of cancer of the uterus. Ah, so we say we in treating hormone treatment, we should balance estrogen hormone and progesterone. These two, these two hormones, because if we only give the patient estrogen hormone, it will increase their risk of cancer of the uterus. And, and we don't see that with estriol. Okay. Then, so, so, if we use the third hormone, it will not increase the risk of cancer. Estriol also seems to have a beneficial effect on your heart. Ah, this is the third hormone. It and it will have an effect on your heart. Okay,、um, so estrogen has、uh, estriol has a good effect on the heart. Now, the safety of hormones, bioidentical or not, depends on a few things. 
when we started. How much we give? What we give? And how the body eliminates it. So when women are afraid of hormone treatment and breast cancer, it's really about what those women do with their estrogen, what they turn it into. So so there are metabolites of the estrogen that can be measured, and they're measuring it at the medic spa. So we know what you turn it into, and then we can, if you're turning it into something that may be dangerous for you, we can help change that metabolite. So we have Okay, we'll switch gears and talk about progesterone. So progesterone too is very important. It's all about balance. Again, progesterone is bioidentical versus the synthetic progestins. So progesterone has a number of very positive effects. It's good for your bones. It decreases anxiety. It's good for your blood pressure. Uh, it's good for your hair. It helps to reduce fat. But the synthetic progestins have the opposite effect. As a matter of fact, the synthetic progestins even stop the protective effect of estrogen on your heart. It's very uh, synthetic as uh, progestins are irritating to the brain. And are associated with a number of side effects that we don't necessarily see in the bioidentical progesterone. Progesterone has a protective effect against breast cancer. In this study, um, they took women who were on their way to surgery and they had a, uh, a breast cancer. And for two weeks before they went to surgery, they received either just estradiol or estradiol and progesterone or just progesterone. So the group the group that received just estrogen had an increase in cell division by 230%. But the progesterone only group actually reduced it by 400%. 
那些用了孕酮治疗的女性，她们的乳，她们的癌细胞反而降低了百分之四百。And when the two were used together, progesterone actually eliminated the effect of estrogen on cell division. 呃，当如果把雌性荷尔蒙和孕酮同时治疗的时候，孕酮会帮助嗯、呃、降低雌性荷尔蒙对癌细胞嗯、呃、增增多的这个影响。Prover, oh, we use a synthetic progestin called Provera, but it increases your risk of breast cancer. So bioidentical hormones are much safer when it comes to progesterone. So Progesterone has a beneficial effect on your heart. Um, whereas the synthetic progestins increase your risk of heart disease. Okay, what about um, sex drive in women? Uh, it is important um, because uh, a woman, a good sex drive in a woman makes for a better life as she gets older, um, but it's complicated in women because it's not always just about hormones. But it is important because it improves your immune system. It lowers stress. Can improve depression. So there's a, a number of other things that um, affect a woman's sex drive, and balancing hormones certainly can make it better. In women, um, testosterone is something that we can use to improve sex drive, but also it helps to keep your muscles strong, your bones strong, and it helps to lower anxiety level. It can, um, it's very, you can use testosterone in women who have had breast cancer and really improve their quality of life and their energy. Okay, so we don't have time to talk about men today because we're, we're running short. But I just want to say, men go through menopause. <laughs> this is a questionnaire. If you want a copy of this, uh, we can make it available. You can give it to your significant person. <laughs> And all of these hormones are important. So we do age because our hormones fall. There are, there are other hormones that are important, but we don't have time to talk about them all today. Um, uh, but at the spa, they will evaluate all of these and have a conversation with you about them. 
、呃，但是我们啊、呃，在瑞建我们可以提供一个检测，能检测您所有对您重要的荷尔蒙，然后给您一个更好的呃评估。It's about restoring balance, and that's a key to healthy aging. 谢谢感谢那个科尔教授及翻译给我们带来分享。那么接下来的时间呢，如果有想跟科尔那个继续进行交谈的，我们在楼上还有会议会议厅，我们可以进行单独的呃这种询问。如果想有拍照的会员，也可以呃找我们有摄影师来帮拍一下照，留个念。啊、呃，再次感谢大家今天能光临，谢谢。